Well, the Worcester Railers home opener is finally here as the team hosts the Maine Mariners tonight at 7.35 p.m. Welcome into this edition of our Coach's Corner. Cam McGuire standing alongside Railers General Manager and Head Coach David Cuniff. Well, Coach, before we get into opening night, don't want to harp on it too much, but let's take a look back at last night's game. Obviously, a 6-3 loss up in Portland, but you guys were fire in the puck and uh, hard on the four check. 54 shots last night. How would you evaluate uh, your team's performance overall? I think if, you know, if, if we were able to get 52 shots every night, then we'll be okay. Uh, but that being said, I think we allowed the goalie to see the first shot too often. We did go to the net heavy, and we were looking for rebounds. We got second, third chances. Uh, we didn't get the bounces that we needed, unfortunately, last night. But that being said, um, I think we can do a better job taking his eyes away and, and not allowing him to see the first shot, hopefully. Yeah, Jeremy Brodeur made 51 saves in net last night for the Mariners. Is it one of those things that uh, – did you, you think you guys had a lot of quality scoring chances? Did you think the quality shots were there, or was it more let's get the puck to the net? No, I, th I think, I, think um, I don't think it was just shots. I don't think we had perimeter shots. I think we had scoring chances. Um, unfortunately, we had some issues with the video. I got it a little bit late uh, now, so I'm, I'm looking it through just to make sure I, uh, I, uh, I, I, what happened last night is what I thought happened last night. So. Um, you always have to dissect it, and that's what I'm doing right now. But I think we did have quality scoring chances. Um, again, I just think early on, you know, I, th I think we just let him see the first shot, and he was able to control the rebounds a little bit. But, um, you know, we were definitely shooting. That's going to be the identity of our team. Um, you know, we just, we just have to create our bounces. A couple of newcomers found the score sheet last night. Nick Albano, a four-on-three power play goal. Jacob Hayhurst, a four-on-four -four goal, which was shortly followed by Mike Cornell. Another four-on-four -four goal. It seemed like you guys were able to open up the ice and take advantage away from five-on-five -five play and, and use the speed that we've seen in the first couple weeks of training camp. How do you kind of generate the, the chemistry that you guys were building on the four-on-four -four play into five-on-five? Yeah, you know, I think when we scored that second goal, Corny's goal was a huge goal tying it up, and I thought that was kind of, um, I thought that was kind of going to be it for us. I thought we were going to keep steamrolling. Unfortunately, uh, they 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 responded, and uh, I don't think we did a great job handling that. They kept it simple. They got pucks behind the net, and they determined where the game was going to be played, which was our end. And uh, right now, unfortunately, we don't have the breakout habits, and uh, our habits aren't aren't detailed enough that. Uh, you know, I don't think we broke out well enough last night. And uh, in a week or two, I think these the details and the habits are going to be formed. I think, uh, unfortunately for me, I missed the first week of training camp, and that set us back just a little bit. But um, I really think that going forward, what, what the habits and the breakouts that we that we form here are going to be a big part of uh, determining where we play the game. And, and we don't want to play the game in our end. We want to play the game through the neutral zone and the offensive zone. Well, let's look ahead to tonight's home opener. Obviously, the home openers in Worcester uh, throughout the years have been nothing short of fantastic, and this will be your first Worcester Railers home opener, and it's kind of been a long time coming for you. Yeah, I'm really excited. I think, uh, obviously, the front office has done a great job. We have a full house tonight, and uh, there's going to be a great atmosphere in the building. So I think uh, especially we have some local guys in our lineup, and uh, I think hopefully we should be buzzing. Mentioned a couple local guys in the lineup, Nolan VC, Zach Malatesta, Jordan Lavalley, Smotherman, and want to quickly ask you about the lineup. Last night you went with 11 forwards and five defensemen. Tonight you're going to go with 10 forwards and six defensemen. What led to that change here this evening? You know, uh, Springfield sent some players down last minute and uh, two forwards, and I just thought that, you know, like with, with, the, with the makeup of the team last night that uh, I could keep those two guys. They hadn't really practiced with us a lot, so we could keep them as almost like a uh, fourth-line wingers and then roll, t roll three centermen. And, uh, you know, I felt like we are a little bit top-heavy. We have a great group of forwards, and uh, it's tough to, to make decisions on the front end. So um, that being said, you know, we had, we had some guys on the back end that weren't feeling well last week, and and maybe miss some time. So uh, we went with the 5D last night, but I thought it was a lot of minutes. And uh, I think tonight, give, going with 60 and uh, 10 forwards is going to give us the best opportunity to win. We we'll want to hear, leave you here with this one. Uh, during the first intermission, Joey Chestnut is competing in a table talk pie eating competition on the ice against uh, eight other people, six local celebrities, and two fans. And there's 144 uh, little table talk blueberry pies. You think Joey Chestnut can handle all those? 90 seconds, he's got to take them down. 90 seconds, uh, blueberry pies. I, I, I tell you, it makes my makes my belly turn. Just uh, the the blueberry pies. I mean, I love the table talk 
the pies, uh, but I don't know if I could eat how many of them. Nine hundred, hundred and forty-four in ninety seconds. Yeah, that's that. That's a lot. But um, you know, he's proven over and over through the years that he's a great athlete and he can eat. So I'm sure he'll find a way. Should be fun to watch during the first intermission. Should be a great night overall. Uh, Cunny, always great chatting. Best of luck tonight and have some fun. Thanks a lot, Cam.